Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this tutorial, I want to talk about how we can export our music out of Sonic Fire Pro 5 and into something we can use it with. Here's how. First, before we do any exporting, go up to Sonic Fire Pro, go down to Preferences, and click on the Export tab. And make sure that Enable Smart Recall is turned on, because it's going to help if you ever have to reopen a project. It's on by default. Make sure it stays that way. Okay, I've created two tracks of audio here. I've got my hits on track one, I've got my music on track two, and I've got some, some mood mapping going on here with the music track. It's done. It's perfect. It is ready to go. I just need to get it out of here. So how are we going to do that? We go up to File. We go down to Export Soundtrack Video. Let's do the easiest way first. Let's just export the complete soundtrack. You click on the Export button that says Give Me a Name. I'm going to call it Export Demo 1. And Hootie Kazooty in a few seconds, it's done. It's an AIF file, it can be played anywhere. Well, yeah, but that was too easy. Let's try something a little bit trickier. So this time we're going to go up, we're going to say Export Soundtrack Video, we're going to leave the complete soundtrack, we're going to leave all these default settings up here. But this time we're going to send it. And when we send it, we can send it to any of these applications. It just so happens I have Final Cut Pro running on my system, so I'm going to say Final Cut Pro. By the way, if you're on the Macintosh, you want to export this as an AIFF file. If you're on a PC, you want to export it as a WAV file. I'm on a Mac, we'll leave it as AIFF. And we click Export. And then we're going to save it somewhere, so we're going to call this Demo 2, just to differentiate it from Demo 1. It exports it, but this time it fires up Final Cut, and it displays a dialog box. And that dialog box says, where do you want to put it? Well, I want to put it in the Water Channel project that I've created, and I leave all the default settings alone. It creates a new bin inside Final Cut. I twirl it down, and there's my music. I'll just grab this music and drag it down here. And I've tested this. I have to drop the level down just a bit because it's a shade on the, the loud side. And when I hit the space bar... where local competitors who dedicate their lives to writing pipeline battle for the chance to compete with the world's best. <laughs> yeah. Well, just a minute here. Hold a timeout. It's cool that I've got the music and I've got those hits in there, but I'd like those hits to be louder. And I want to keep the music so not quite as loud. In other words, I need to export pieces out of here. How do I do that? Well, let's switch back to Sonic Fire and go up to File, Export, Soundtrack Video. But this time we're not going to export the complete soundtrack. We're going to export tracks into separate files. We'll leave the rest of this the same. By the way, there's a number of different sound formats that this supports. The only two that I recommend you use are Digital Video, which is a 48K sample rate, and Audio CD, which is a 44.1K sample rate. And absolutely stay with 16-bit. 32-bit can cause problems with many applications. Digital Video 4816 is a really good choice. Okay, we're ready to separate our tracks into separate files. I click Export. It says, give me a folder, and I say, go for it. It now exports the hits as one track. It then exports the music as a second track. It wakes up Final Cut. It says, okay, I'm ready. Where do you want me to put it? It creates a new bin. And it gives me both of those tracks. Let me grab this track. I'll just drag it down here and put it there. Grab this track and drag it and put it right there. And now look at what I've got. I've got separate volume control over my hits. They're still perfectly timed and in sync. And I've got volume control over my music. So I'm going to keep my hits up nice and loud. We'll take a look at the waveform. Notice there's only hits right there. And now when I hit the up arrow key to go to the beginning and play it, trials where local competitors who dedicate their lives to writing pipeline battle for the chance to compete with the world's best. <laughs> Very cool. I've got nice, loud hits. I've got music that sounds perfect. It's got the energy. It's got the drive. And, well, what happens if I want to go back and make a tweak to this audio once it's complete? 
Well, as long as you've changed one preference setting, you can do that. If we go up to Final Cut Pro, go down to System Settings, and we go to External Editors, by default, Final Cut sets all audio files to open up in Soundtrack Pro. If we go over here to the Clear button and click Clear, now Final Cut will open an audio file in the application that created it. Click the OK button. Watch what happens when I control click or right mouse click on a Sonic Fire Pro file. It automatically opens that file inside Sonic Fire, allowing me to quickly make changes to it. I re export the file, import that back into Final Cut, and that quickly I can speed the whole iterative process of creating and modifying my music files. So the cool thing about exporting is we have lots of options. And, by the way, the reason I was able to open this project when I did open an editor was because that preference for Smart Recall was turned on. This is a very powerful way of exporting your music because it gives you a complete soundtrack when you want that and it gives you the necessary tracks and pieces when you're going to do the mix somewhere else. There's a lot to discover inside Smart Sound's Sonic Fire Pro 5. And I hope these tutorials have helped you to understand it better. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.